Yes. All right, Aquarius. Y'all are my last ones. Come on now, good lord. Yes. We're going to shoot y'all ass up out of here. Ooh, yes. We need to fix your... Ooh. Girl, come on. Let me go ahead and click that real quick. Y'all going to give me that real quick? Come on. Hopefully they finna bag this shit up, y'all, girl. Hopefully my dreams is about to come true. <laughs> I feel hopefully it is, though. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is about to come true. Ooh. Hopefully my dreams is about to come true in this bitch. Alright. I'm talking about with my computer. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, let's see what's going on, baby. Let's see what's going on, baby. Let's see what move y'all in real quick before we go ahead and get started with the reading because I ain't got time for y'all. We got foundations and achievements in reverse, though. You and your sister sign had something like that, though. Like, that was being uprooted from a situation like something was being remaked. All right. Woo. First card out, we got the truth. With the judgment card, we got suffering in silence. We have the stand your ground. We have the awareness in reverse. We got accelerated movement and spiritual strength. For some of y'all, this is exactly what the damn card say. Some of y'all could be needing to be spiritually supported. Some emotions have slowed down. I don't know if it's communications with a person. Some of y'all, um, I don't know. Like some of y'all could be Aries had a little bit like this though, like tapped out, like losing faith in whatever that was necessary to believe in. With the seven of wands though, that could be boundaries between you and between you. This could be the grounds that you need to stand upon. For certain y'all, this is certain battles that need to be fought into a actual realm. Like not in a like I don't know if it's like in a spiritual around this could be for seeding darkness in the actual 3d this could be standing up for necessarily what you believe in with the nine of swords though some of y'all are not getting no sleep because i be hating y'all be attached to me i don't get no sleep i'm like bro i can't live like this with the truth that is suffering in silence though because this could be with the seven of wands, whatever the truth, they said the truth shall set you free. But this is about people, certain situations, or other things. This is about speaking so you won't be in a state of worry. With the awareness, though, some of y'all the truth for saying that I literally don't know. With the accelerated motion, certain things have slowed down the path or the speed of how you want certain things to go. That could be a problem for you if you're a person who's very fast, quick, I need, I need. So a slow pace could be a lot for y'all to be able to deal with. With the five of pentacles being reversed, obstacles and challenges being reversed. I kind of like that, though, for some of y'all. This could be internal more than external. Um, some of y'all, whichever way, you know, whichever way you want to put it. You got 21. This is the world. I like that, though. It's upright, though. That's completion. That's cycles. But we also have the waiting game of deception and envy, though, which I like this because seven of swords is in reverse. Some of y'all could be coming too, though, because I don't know. Because some of y'all could use y'all magic to do a lot of things, though. Make hasty decisions, especially with the temptation, though. So now you could be in a state of where you could be blocked by yourself. Because it's like the harvesting came back around to where there's some uh, spiritual depletedness to go into a recharging period or a sense of accountability, though. Some of y'all could be repeating, completing certain cycles of who you used to be or adhering to. Like, if you step now into your spiritual strength... Or, um, ooh, if you step into your spiritual strength of the person who you are now, it's like those cycles could be clearing up. The waiting games with the two of pentacles being reversed. I feel like the waiting period is over. This is deception and envy, though. Some of y'all, this is about certain things that you want being honest. Seven of swords upright, though. Some of y'all, this could be devious to get certain things. Like, this could be manipulation. This could be, but I feel like the truth is out. It's up. The waiting game. This could be internally, though, especially with the Nine of Swords, whatever could be happening to you or whatever experiences, though. Some of y'all, this is the truth that you don't tell yourself, especially in a metaphysical aspect, though. So I don't know. I just feel like it's out. Like, you know. You know how you see people. I told y'all a long time ago last month, I said, don't push away your help. I said, there's certain people that you don't lie to. You lie to anybody else. You lie to the judge. You lie to the lawyer. But there's certain people that you necessarily don't lie to, and there's people who you lie to. So, you have to learn to be able to go to a state of truth. Especially if it's those connections that you feel that uh, can move you to a best position. I don't know what the hell that's about. And I'm not talking about it physically. I'm talking about it spiritually, though. So this could be needing that help. Especially with the Nine of Swords being a depression, anger, dismay, uh, 
wanting a uh, emotional fulfillment, but at the same time not communicating that, but keeping that shit suppressed. Like for real. Like I'm okay. Yeah, you know what? That don't bother me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's low key does. Like, oh, okay. All right. <sighs> I don't, one more thing. It's just pretending to don't care, but you really care. <laughs> I, don't, so I don't know, because some of y'all could be going through a lot. I'll tell you that. I don't know. It's the truth. It's the truth. Lying to others, lying to certain things, certain experiences, lack of, I don't know, it's identity crisis. That shit been coming up and all down through here. Like, I don't like that. It has. Who you need to be. Who are you? Do you know your father? I know. I'm sorry. I've been on Lion King quotes all day. Transpersonal. That's the washers. I'm going to take that one out for y'all because it's the number 60. We'll read them for y'all at the end. Let me get these for y'all. We're going to clarify with the animal tarot. We got inspiration. Come on now. We got meditation again. We got that in the sister side. We got God and the Venus. Some of y'all just need to relax. But it's something with a vulnerability, though. Sky right in the face, though, with the courage to step into life. Because I say, it's something about relaxing. I don't know if y'all actually relax. Some of y'all, this is a state of comfort or love, like needing to be appreciated from people and things around you. But it's a lack of vulnerability. Some of y'all know how to relax in love or actually... Like, cause when you, when you fall for the right person or certain things start to align in your life, they don't take from you. You go through moments of where if you so used to being in routine, strategic, um, being the person who always be the go-getter or the boss, whatever it is, you go through moments where you have to be like, okay, well, did I do this? Or, okay, let me relax. Some of y'all don't know how to relax. And that's a lot. Some of y'all don't know how to relax in love or relationships. Now we got new beginnings, the moon maiden. Some of y'all know how to relax in love. It's okay. Because one of y'all got them concepts of I got everybody, but who got me? Right. Right. They might help your ass out if you say so. All right. Y'all, wait a minute. What I do with the damn gods while I'm over here being sassy for no reason? I think it's just payback because I was just talking shit. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, because that's how I want to use the animal tarot. Getting to know you. I like that. <laughs> With the shark, that's getting to know somebody's intention. Like it is, though. I like that. Girl, don't fly your ass off. Ooh, she getting on my nerves. Little, one little call. I just got to go. Girl, no promo over here. I ain't paying me. What you thought I was going to turn that can around? I am somebody. All right. Okay. Ooh, 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 what is that? That's the firefly. I like that. Oh, okay. All right. Is it one that's flipped, girl? If it's flipped, it's flipped. It's gone. It's my last one. Then I get to go watch everybody else's shit. I can't watch their shit while I'm doing my shit because it always comes up like I'm getting arrested the else. So I'll be like, God damn, I was trying to get this shit. It'll be like a finishing of a part two. It really do. Like shit, just for me, so I had to record and upload and go watch it back because it's shit I need to see why I'm in a moment of challenge. I really do. Oh, bitch. Oh, wait a minute. That's a mouse in reverse. I said one of y'all need to learn how to relax. Ooh, because that mouse at play. I told you, mouse ain't nothing but a nitpicky ass energy. Eats away through certain things. Kill the fun out of shit. Woo! Tell me everything I need to know about y'all. Alright. Ooh, okay. Alright. We got Stingray. 
confidence. All right, this is the awakening. This is developing a spine, though. Some of y'all finally getting a sense of yourself. With the owl, though, and the elephant, though, some of y'all could be going through financial blocks, though, because some of y'all, this is the disconnection between you, your craft, your money, your material wealth, whatever it is. This is the uh, disconnection that's going on, though. Because of the line, though, some of y'all could be trying to control the direction, though. Some of y'all could be having disputes and stuff about money or what it is. Some of y'all could be coming. I don't know. I've been getting a whole lot uh, with somebody. They came up in Taurus reading something about some money. Because with the owl, though, and the elephant, though, this is money quarrels because that's keeping the distance between you and taking a charge or something, though. Somebody could feel like because they got money, they take charge of certain things. This was in Taurus reading. It really was. And then we also have the panther. Ooh. And then we got the stingray because the panther is unnecessary annihilation. That's y'all shadow, like, lashing out at people, the courage to um, the darker sides of you. I don't know if you and money have had the best relationship, though, especially if it's going into certain experience. Oh, look at the dogs, y'all. I don't know if you and money have had the best experience, especially with those, with the, with that, like, illuminating something. I don't know. Like, some of y'all ain't had the best relationship with you and money, though, with this purging opportunity, though. This is the... Um, creating a sense of self though it's relinquishing control over certain things because some of y'all been going through certain blocks and now it's needing to get out get out get over get through releasing though it's, it's y'all releasing something i don't know what that's about we get to that though i just say i don't know so you won't blame me for shit all right okay um <laughs> what i'm just mom like why you say you don't know when you say i say that just in case because you be like, well, you did say you don't know. I'm like, all right, you can't sit there and say that. Uh, but we got Joyful Muse. I tell you, this is an assistance, though. That's about forward movement. Some of y'all, that's about going towards a new direction, uh, striving towards going somewhere. And I tell you, this goes down back to inspiration because I did say some of y'all, this is creative matters, a business project, whatever it is. If it has something to do with music, writing, artistry, it was something that was holding someone back, though, because it's money core. It's a situation, though, because some of y'all being tested. So this could be people fucking with your paper or it's something of that nature to see if you really want it. And I feel like it's coming from a divine type state because it's been a hardship between you and money and principality whatever it is though okay now we have the starfish we got the peacock we also have the whale with the buffalo hmm look at that gratitude coming all up and down through here though grateful um with that peacock though and that starfish i really don't like it though because that's very vanity aspects though that's a uh worried about what other people think when you really shouldn't with the whale, though, that's about opening up, sharing with somebody. That's emotional matters, navigating. I don't know. Is somebody creating some type of project? Because you know how, like, them people be, ooh, damn. Wait a minute. I, wait a minute. Because, wait a minute. I'm going to get it out. You know how people be creating projects and stuff like that, and then they be like, well, I don't know. Should I release it? It's stuff that's, like, necessarily behind the scenes and stuff like that. And then they upload them to their YouTube channels, like those documentary series and shit like that or whatever. But it's a sensitivity that comes about it for people to see another side of them. Is that something that's going on? Then we got, like, the fox <laughs> being in reverse and the elk. For some of y'all, I kind of feel like this is with you, though. Because it's like... It's something about you, though. I don't know. Like, it's something about you. Like, I cannot say it. With the fox and the elk, though, this is like hiding who you are. Like, this is sneaky. Foxes are talks about adapting to certain experiences, though. The father is a very pretentious energy, though. For some of y'all, this could be pretending to someone or something about a, a certain situation. Um, this could be grateful for fatherhood or motherhood because the, the elk is a person that shows up in your life that's very reliable, dependable, and stable. But with in reverse, it's a very pretentious person, hard to get along with, and somebody kind of set in their way. So it could be like a grateful or gratitude. I don't know if that's you with a person, your craft, or whatever. I don't know because I told you it looked like somebody finally took a long time to come into something, and when they come into it, it puts them in a ways of where it emotionally closes them off. Whether this is finances being a Get in the house, get in the car, whatever it is. So it develops some character of where it's an emotional flaw within yourself, not external. It could be to where there's some callousy. 
I don't know, because it's like a gratefulness for it, though. So I don't know if somebody wants you to show it or some form of happiness. But it could be universal. I told you with that spiritual strength. Now we go to the deep quiet meditation and stillness. We got the deer. We have the turtle. We got the frog. We got the tiger. And we got the mouse. This is what I don't like at the end, the mouse. That's why I said, well, y'all working on something creatively. Because with that mouse, though, that is a very nitpicky ass energy. This got to go this way. This got to go this way. And it's just trying to make everything too perfect instead of tapping into the energy of, like, this is what it is. This is who I am. Like, this is who I am. But with that quietness, though, the deer and the turtle and the frog, though, this is definitely something with music or creativity-wise or, mm, I don't know. I saw you did something. Somebody is into art or something. With the deer and the turtle and the frog, I like that, though, because that's heightened awareness. No, that's, uh, that's senses. That is senses coming to senses about where you want to go. Femininity two times, especially with the deer and the tiger. Some of y'all that is a relationship though. Some of y'all could be ooh. Some of y'all I don't know. Some of y'all talking to y'all mama, communicating something. I don't know. It's somebody writing something. So this could be like poetry or a person, feminine. I don't know. It's some. It's some with you and your mama. I don't know if it's in a song. I don't know if it's in a letter. I don't know if it's something. But somebody wants to communicate something to someone about something. But with the tiger and the mouse, you don't want to say something. It's like I. I, I don't know. I gotta say this. Da, 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 I don't know. I, I don't. It's some. It's a feminine. It's a mother. It's somebody. Because it's something that's very, I don't know, it's precious to you, but you want to show it to somebody else. But it's, I don't it's, know. It's this constant, I can never get it right. Meditate and think on it. That's all I got to say. With the Garden of Venus. Come on now. Because I said some of y'all don't know how to relax. Look at that mouse in it. Some of y'all don't know how to relax. Be in love. Actually have support. Be able to let your hair down. Go somewhere where it just breathes love. You embody love. Not to come to take it. But you give it equally as well. Some of y'all don't know how to rest. Because we got the fire ant. We have the camel and the bee. Baby, this ain't nothing but rejuvenation. Then I say some of y'all don't. Because fire ant, that is controlling. That is manipulative. That is pessimistic motherfuckers. Those people always want people to do shit. That is emotionally draining. You got to follow what the fuck I say. Yada, yada, yada. Like, that's a whole lot. Like, in a love space where you're trying to create some type of free flow. It's at work. It's at work. It's at work. Some of y'all could be at work and trying to create a loving, and loving environment or experience. Though, but it's a whole bunch of pressure that's on somebody. And I don't like that. With the tarantula, the oyster, and the nightingale, though, this is going outside. Some of y'all about the crossroads. That's going back to nature. I've been saying Mother Nature been telling some of y'all to get y'all ass outside. Some of y'all need to go scream in a jaw. I don't know. Like, say whatever it is in a jaw. I used to do shit like that, though, when I was younger. Boy, it was my imagination at all the time. Huh? It still is. I used to, like, say what I want to say in a jar and then close it up. I don't know. What's that movie? Never mind. I can't tell y'all. Did y'all have y'all ever seen that movie where they had like the talking jaws and then they used to put shit in the jaw and they closed it up and then when they opened it up, it used to come out. I cannot tell y'all what movie, but I used to do shit like that. Never mind. Okay, with the tarantula in the octopus and the, no, the tarantula in the, girl, call this an octopus. You might got an octopus energy at play. Some of y'all at a crossroads. I tell you, this goes back to your vulnerability because this is being open. This is want to share something with somebody, but some of y'all don't know. But I think it's a new path to you because Nightingale, this is your voice. Somebody want to share something with somebody. Who the hell? I don't know. Somebody a music. What is this? Somebody want to share something with somebody. It's a music. It's 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 something with a voice. It's speaking. It could be a project. It could be business. This could be a paper. Some of y'all could be grading a paper. This could be your emotions. Some of y'all could be putting it in a fucking letter, giving it to somebody. It's something. I don't know. But one of y'all want to share it. You got the vulture with the sea serpent with the otter though. With that vulture and that with the vulture being in reverse, that is like the energy of where you need to let go of certain things. Because it's gonna continue to keep eating away at you. That's like the darkness. That's um old things that need to be relinquished, but with that sea um with that sea sea serpent and an otter 
This is their lack of fun. Cause something is not fun anymore, and I I know you want to tell somebody that. Oh, you, I don't I don't know. I think like I, this more vulnerable you get with you or a certain situation. I don't know, but whatever's not working for you no more. That's all I got to say. Something isn't working for you. You at a crossroad though, cause it's like whatever situation is eating away at you. Whether it's emotionally, it's how you manifest, how you create. I don't know if it's. A baby could see serpent could be that somebody could be pregnant. Um, this could be rebirthing something in a child. This is sacral. It's something with sex. It's something with sex though. Some eating away at you. There's something with sex. Ooh, I hope somebody ain't got somebody pregnant. Please put a condom on. Um, <laughs> it's something with sex though. I want to say that though, cause this is rest and renewal. Cause some of y'all may be at that space though, where it's like I don't want to fuck. I just want to chill. Let me get off of it. All right. Uh, we got Sky Riding, which is the fates. This is number 13. All right. We almost getting up out of here. Didn't I say you had an octopus at play? You got crocodile, the octopus, and the fish. This somebody's getting all up in your business. Feel like the universe all up in your business with that octopus, though. That's somebody that's trying to get you to let your guard down energetically. You could be doing this to somebody else, though, with this fish. You could be dreaming about that, though, and not even knowing that, though, when you come into a relationship or in contact with certain people. Because it's sitting back, because I don't know. Some of y'all got your hands in too many things. It goes back to the rest of renewal, though. Some of y'all just here. Because you got the hyena, the phoenix, and the beaver. This is a hard worker. I said that though. Some of y'all work hard. Somebody could be still going into retirement. I don't know what that's about. Somebody could be retiring. And I think retirement. Some of y'all could be retiring. But I think retiring. That's going to be hard for one of y'all. If y'all like to work. Or you very obsessed with money like this or whatever. But I'm not saying obsessed with money in a way of. But I tell you it's a value with money that you is off. Uh, with the hyena and the phoenix, though, this is like sarcastically, like some of y'all talks about, oh, I, I, I really want to let this go. I want to be able to move forward. <laughs> like that, but you don't. Like it's something with it, though, you don't. Uh, some of y'all going through a transformative process, though, and I told you it goes back to spirituality where some of y'all could be praying, but in a moment of, it could be faith challenging for some of y'all where you need to just be steadfast to your faith to be able to grow and arise through these cycles because it talks about the fiends will keep reappearing to let you let go of certain things in your life over and over and over again because some of y'all don't want to let go of shit until you had the mouse you had that you got this and it ain't no fun in these cars though it's not it's no fun in these goddamn cars at all now um we got the perfect storm to step into life which i like that though i said that though <sighs> we got the cheetah we got the earthworm <laughs> we got the firefly <laughs> Some of y'all in relationships, y'all get in the motherfuckers to get out of the motherfuckers. Uh, with the cheater and the earthworm, that's somebody who's shy, who's hesitant, who don't want to open up, or whatever the case may be. Like somebody who does it, that's somebody who starts and stops certain things. With that firefly, though, this is sees the beauty in something and they runs away, though. Because I'll tell you, the firefly is something. I read y'all the firefly right along with that transpersonal, but the firefly talks about um, in the daylight, you may not see his worth. But at night, it glows up and you see the beauty into something, though. So that's why I said some of y'all, this is the courage to be able to step it in your life or something else. But we also got the unicorn with the dragon, though, that goes back to that confidence. It goes back to that confidence. It goes back to that confidence because you can foresee it. You know it. Whether this is changing or um, this is you see it. But at the same time, it's like I, you don't believe it. That's why I say it's like somebody wrote something in a letter to someone or something. And somebody want to tell somebody something. But they don't want to say nothing, though, because it's this lack of vulnerability. All right. Now, last card. We got the Wheel of Whisk. Treasures hidden in the shadows. Living in the shadows of my own place dreams. All right. We got Zebra, the Cobra, and the Snake, <coughs> and the Butterfly. Ooh, I like that though. Because you go from to the master to the student or whichever one from the student to the master. With the zebra and the cobra and the snake, this could be somebody coming into your life that teach you something differently. Unwaking some potential. Some of y'all don't see how. Mm. 
for somebody going back to school. Some of y'all try to figure something out. Some of y'all are going to school. Some of y'all trying to figure this out, trying to learn how to maneuver. Some of y'all, this could be a coach, a therapist, whatever it is that's coming into your life. They have a different way of doing certain things. I'm navigating through some darker times. We also got the dragonfly with the scorpion, but we also have the bat and the hummingbird. Look at that scorpion. Baby, they don't want to let go of something. That's a grudge. <laughs> Baby, if this ain't here, whatever been holding you down and back in your life, well, you got to let it go. Some of y'all do not want to let it go. Because the bat talks about, do you want to sit there until you want to sit there or do you don't? Hummingbird. That's a spiritual elixir. That's resourcefulness. Mm -hmm. And ability to be able to change. That's realistic. Reluctant to change. Y'all got a lot of solar plex energy, though. Is it like fear? That was the original card with the rabbit. I had a lot of fear. I don't know what that was about, though. Fear. I don't know if it's vulnerability. Change. Some of y'all fear yourself more than anything outside of this life. Like, it's weird, though. Some of y'all fear yourself, fear something else. There could be a fear of death. I don't know what the hell that's about. But some of y'all could fear yourself more than anything, though. I'm telling you, it is, though. It's a major fear. It's like a block that comes in, though. It's like a poaching through it, and it goes away or whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not going to get into that because this reading was going really good. I tell you that. All right. Living in the shadows of my helpless dreams. Girl, where the fuck my cars go? Trying to find a way to be. And do 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 to me. Living in the shadows of my helpless dreams. Don't you be sorry to me. I'm living in, living in, living in, living in, living in. Oh, my bad. We got the warrior. Ooh, come on now. I like this though. Some of y'all are fighting and don't even know it though. But I tell people all the other time, don't exhaust your warrior. Because a lot of people be so focused in warrior mode that they be so busy trying to protect themselves. Being defensive. I can do this. Shut the fuck up. Being smart and sassy to people. Um, even if it's your magic. Showing up. Showing off that in a time of need when you need to show up for you. A lot of people don't show up for themselves the way they should. Living in, living in, living in. Because we got intimate. Some of y'all need to take your time with yourself. Take your time. Be more caring with your practice. Mm, some of y'all could be. Oh, shit. We got grace and reflective. Ooh, that's the guilt that kicks in, though. Some of y'all want to. Uh, I tell you, that goes back to ascension and processes, though. Some of y'all should need to take your time going on going on this ascension journey and being able to move forward, though. But with some of y'all, though, it's plays being played out or whatever, or plays into situation, though. But now you could be self-reflective because you want somebody to extend grace back to you. Like, this could be something that, like, this could be something that, that you didn't offer to someone and now you want it back to you. I feel like that, though, babe. I feel like I need to pull some more cards on them. Well, hold up. Because we got the alchemist. Metamorphosis is a falcon. This is about change. Yeah. I said that though. Half in, half out. Hmm. On the bottom of the day, we got. That's it. I tell y'all got a lot of opposing sides. You versus self. Pe people versus them. This could be what people see when they look at you. Or you could say that though. For some y'all, I don't know. It's about somebody wanting some type of grace extended back to them that they didn't give to somebody else. 
We got the alchemist, though. This is experience creating something. Then we also have the falcon with the metamorph. Because some of y'all have, like, it's, it's nervousness. Y'all be nervous. They're fucking up your damn solar place energy it is, though. Um, Bree, god damn. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Let me unwrap this read up. Living in, living in, living in. <laughs> Girl, I just gonna pull another card on it. Let me hear it. Let me get up out of here. Woo, let me get y'all a positive patty. But I'm gonna say, some of y'all need to learn how to breathe. Shit. Cause I can't breathe when you talk to me. I can't breathe when you touch me. I suffocate when you're away from me. Some of y'all could be doing that. Ooh, that's some new love. I like that. That's that new love. I don't like that. I don't like that new love. Well, you know that new love hat you wearing. Like, what is this bitch doing? I don't like that. Mm -mm. That new love hat you in a destructive mode because you be so scared and you ain't never felt no love like that before. Man, you will fuck that whole love up because you be wearing her trying to. I want to know. I'm like, mm mm. I don't like that. Mm mm. <laughs> that new love be scary around. But it's not like a scare. It's like a, a an adrenaline rush. I tell you that though. But for somebody who's not used to that, that likes to put a lot of pressure or needing attention or self sabotaging and stuff like that, that could be a lot for you to be able to mostly process. Though that could make a nigga nervous. Some of y'all here tearing my solar plex up because y'all be doing that to yourself, like nervous, thinking too much, worry. I don't know. Whether well, this is a part of you or yourself. Because I did say a lot of shadow work and inner child healing ancestor work. Baby, it was rough. I can't pinpoint which one it is. But for certain for, for certain particular signs, I did say that was going on. Bro. If it resonates, then cool. But it's a lot of stuff coming all up and down through here. Because I can't breathe when you talk to me. Ugh. Let me get out y'all energy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Change your life. We got a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free from procrastination, and breaks the opportunities that change brings. I'm going to give y'all three, and then we out this bitch. I'm going to give y'all three. All right. Ooh. We got ten of swords. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will follow. Put the past behind you. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. It's a nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. Eight of Pentacles. Take great pride in excellent work. That's why I said some of y'all creating some projects. You got some shit going on. You're kind of scared about it or whatever the case may be. Stop worrying about what people think you are the creator of your own work worth. Not saying I ain't saying it if we got money on the line. So I don't listen to it. But I'm saying if you believe into it, you believe into it. Uh, we do have divine guidance, though. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternate approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers. I did say that, though. So, some of y'all going through those spiritual blocks. Necessarily up and down through y'all life. That faith, that fear. Some of y'all got to be able to ask for help. Reach out through that cry. Require those uh, metaphysical pleas. Rewiring of the brain. Being vulnerable. For some of y'all, that could be the hardest challenge, though. Especially if you're going through heart chakra issues. Awakening, closings, solar plex, confidence. Like, all that's attacking there. Some of y'all got to get out that into alignment and it could be some type of struggle though because there's a form of truth and with truth it makes you vulnerable because i think it keeps you more equipped when you can be emotionally closed off i think one of y'all do that because i can't breathe when you talk to me okay all right girl where the fuck the book at oh okay here you go flow and then i said i was gonna read y'all the fire flower wait a minute too much going on let me read y'all this trans. No, I'm going to read you transpersonal first. The Watchers. Girl, there could be somebody watching you or you could be watching somebody else. You could be doing it for you. Some of y'all better take it personal. No, I'm just playing. Uh, let me put my finger there behind. I broke it. So I don't want you to see it. Serendipity, the observer, the witness, the transpersonal. When a watcher appears, it is an invitation to stop doing pause, get off the treadmill, and take a deep breath. Didn't I say the one y'all need to breathe? Find a witness within the one who can observe the fire and fury, fury happening around you, but it's not so caught up in the drama. The time is right to step back. If you have have a thought or an opinion, keep it to yourself. 
If you have a feeling that needs to be expressed, do it in a shower. Do not engage with the action happening around you. Simply observe. Watch a show up to direct your attention to the horizon away from an ant hill in front of you. Others might think you are simply doing nothing, but nothing, but let them know that you are helping that you are helping the sun set in the evening sky. There are bigger things to attend to. You have spent such a long time trying to correct the course of events and actions of others. Then I say one of y'all was in a mouse. Let it be for short. Let it be for a short while. As you become the observer rather than the doer, the watcher invites you to break free from the linear, linear casual pace of petty day to day. Rise to divine coincidence to serendipity and notice how the act of seeing the heart of the matter produces results. Things happen without you doing anything. Creation unfolds in its own mysterious ways, requiring only a sacred witness. Did I say that though? Did I say that about some saying something in a jar, keeping it to yourself? Ooh! Okay, as we wrap, let me read y'all this though. Because I told y'all, I ain't shit. I ain't a lot of things in my life. But this, and fuck your anxiety, www.com, link in the bio. Babe, I'm all lit. All right. In a bag of chips. Where am I stop playing? <laughs> For real. Because people be trying to play me. I'm like, girl, that's the way it is. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, where, where, where we at? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. This ain't got no damn. I ain't get it. Wait a minute. Y'all bear with me for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. I ain't a lot of motherfuckers. But I'm so all right now. Inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. The firefly contains the light of a thousand stars. Its pure is radiant and illuminating. This high frequency charge cannot be sustained for a long time. Therefore, the firefly cards indicate a moment of inspiration or an awakening that quickly fades if we do not catch it. There is a firefly energy behind every poem song and invention our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it when it's grace our paths what can you do to support this pressure and elusive light when in balance it writes it creates it brainstorms when out of balance it feels burnt out and it is dull to bring into balance write a poem or draw oh! <laughs> didn't i say somebody was writing somebody a letter we just got a letter we just got a letter. I said that though. Somebody was though. So other than that though, I have made it out this long ass fucking journey. Some of y'all could be. But that's actually dope if you deal with a relationship though. Because that's certain shit I used to do. Especially when I was in a relationship and I couldn't communicate. I would write it in a letter. Especially and then say, hmm, here you go. Because that was my feelings though. I was like, I don't like sharing my feelings with a lot of people though. I don't like when niggas be trying to make me vulnerable. I be ready to smack shit out of them. I really do. So... That's just how I felt, though. And after that, though, I had a ritual, though, because after I gave it to you, you had to burn it, or I would keep it, though, if you know somebody's very secretive. So they can keep it, especially if it's certain things, how you feel about emotional matters and shit like that, or whatever the case might be. But for some of y'all could be going through that, though. I would say that. We just got a let Oh, oh, we just got a let Oh, oh. But for some of y'all, I'll tell you, there's a truth that comes about. Tell me how the truth can set you free. Especially if you're doing ancestor work, trying to break uh, uh, patterns and shit like that. Whatever it is in love, a relationship, a person, people, expectations, support. Because I told y'all, one of y'all got one of them. I got everybody, but who the fuck got me? Because no, you won't let nobody get you. You won't let nobody get you. Because you always think somebody out to get you. Right? Right. And then some of y'all going through spiritual matters, though. It just requires you just to be a little bit more vulnerable whatever it is that you need. So you could be going through that, though. I just want you to be appreciative for where you are and what you got. But remember, this is truth about coming clean, though. Feelings, emotional matters, especially if it's that, though. Whatever. But, yeah. Um, that's it though. So I wish you the best. I wish you success. Let me go and find all these cards so I can swoop all this shit up and put it up and send me on by my way. I am through for the month. And your weekly reading will be uploaded tomorrow. Bye, bye. Uh, yep. So that's it, you guys. I ain't doing nothing but wrapping it up right quick. Wrapping it up, girl. Wrapping it up. 
wrapping it up. Remember to wrap it up with that Venus and Venusius energy because it looks like some of y'all going to be around here having my baby. Trying to make another baby. Fucking like the rent do. Okay, anywho, but I wish you the best. I wish you success. Some of y'all go lay on the couch. If you want help to get honest, get out there. Remember, I said in the last month, don't lie to your help. You rely on anybody else, but don't lie to your help. And if you're feeling lonely and you're going through a little depression, you can always call me. You can, though. Right? But don't be calling me for no other shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through financial challenges. If you, you know, you're just a little broke, I don't know. I can't help you with that. <laughs> but if you need some encouragement, a word, I got you. But if you just look, we both in the same. You know, I ain't got no right now. All right, bye.